Hi friends, Jeff Elhart from Elhart Automotive Campus here. I just want to share with you over the next several weeks a series on mental health as we're going to call it the mental health moment from the Elhart Automotive Campus. And we're using the tool, the action plan called Be Nice, which we have embraced over the past five years as many of you know. But we're going to get deeper into the topic of how to actually notice, invite, challenge, empower, and potentially save someone's life, particularly in these times uh, during this pandemic of additional anxiety and depression. So let's get right into uh, the first session today called Help Others Overcome Depression. Consider the members in your family. Think of the people you work with. Consider most any group of people and then imagine that one out of five of you are currently suffering from depression or will sometime in your adult lifetime. Now think of this scary fact. 50% of the five of you will never receive professional treatment to address your depression. Untreated depression increases the likelihood of a suicide attempt by 50%. It's no wonder that 90% of deaths by suicide are those people struggling with depression. Allow me to share a short letter with you addressed to my family and my brother's friends. Family and friends, I love you all. This depression has gotten the best of me. Please don't blame yourself as it was me. Please help others overcome the illness of depression. God, please use me to help others. Signed, Wayne. This was my brother's message to his family and friends found 16 months after his death on March 27, 2015, after struggling with depression to suicide. So consider these three simple questions. Number one, why are people suffering from depression and some even killing themselves? Number two, how do you feel about that? And number three, what are you going to do about it? So what's next? You're about to learn the most simple and easy tool to potentially save a life. Further, when shared with the community, you'll be able to see how this tool has an impact on how people think, act, and feel. This tool, when used, has a positive impact on the question of why people kill themselves. I like to equate this tool to the stop, drop, and roll to mental illness. The tool is called Be Nice. Be Nice is an acronym for Notice, Invite, Challenge, and Empower. The rest of this video series will provide you with a lifeline that can save yourself or someone else from being hurt or worse yet, dying from depression, just like Stop, Drop, and Roll does for saving yourself or someone else from a house fire. First N. N stands for notice. Notice what's good and right about someone. Then notice the changes in their behavior. When someone you know exhibits visible changes in their behavior, it's time to take notice. You can characterize the warning signs of depression in five buckets. Number one, behavior changes. Number two, agitation. Number three, isolation. Number four, poor self-care. And finally, number five, hopelessness. When one exhibits one of these changes in mood, care, or behavior for a period of two weeks or more, this is a warning sign of depression. When someone exhibits three, four, or five of these warning signs for two weeks or more, this causes serious consideration that the person may have suicide ideation, or in other words, thinking about taking their life. The next step is I for invite. Invite yourself to have a loving and caring conversation with that person, stating that you've noticed these changes in your, their behavior with the person opens up the opportunity for you to let them know that you've, changed, you've noticed the changes and you really care. Then C, C stands for challenge. Challenge the person why he is or she is exhibiting the noticeable changes in behavior is the next step in attempting to help the person. So simply ask the person why those changes are occurring in their life. And you may need to ask the ultimate question, are you thinking of killing yourself? With the information received, you are now ready to move on to E, which stands for empower. Empower yourself to get the per person professional help. 
professional help may include a counselor, psychologist, emergency room, or primary care physician. It may include a call to the National Suicide Hotline, which is 1-800-273-8255, or you can text GO to 741-741. There's a lot more to uncover in upcoming segments. So stay tuned to the Mental Health Moment from Elhart Automotive Campus. Depression is treatable, suicide is preventable, be nice.